Today's show is brought to you by Berkeley, makers of Trilene, Fireline, Power Bait and Gulp. By Humminbird, simply clearly better. By Mills Fleet Farm. By Frable, trusted gear since 1938. By Bass Pro Shops. By Johnsonville, sausage is all we do. By Love Boats, powered by Mercury. By MW Marine. By Menards. And by WisconsinLovesDodge.com. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Kind of a mild, cloudy day, and really has become a tradition to come up here to the Hayward area for the opening week of the fishing season with Pete Maiden and, and his dad, Tex. And Pete, it's been a cold spring, a nasty spring, and uh, a lot of weeds aren't up yet. So where do you look for the walleyes and that type of deal? Well, we're going to look in a variety of places. What I'll be looking for is new weeds coming up, if I can find them anywhere, John, inside turns and points. And then if that isn't working, maybe we'll look at some rocks and some different things. But the water's still extremely cold. It's only 51 degrees here, so. Well, one of the things that I enjoy about coming up here is we're not married to one species. If the walleye isn't biting, we can crappie fish, catch some pike, whatever, right? Well, yeah, and there's a ton of different lakes around here, John. You know, you can hip hop around, try two, three different lakes a day. So we'll figure something out. We got our buddy Tex with this Tex Wave, good to see you there, man. We're gonna get some fish today, right? All right. right. Hey, folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it. All that right, coming up right after this. MW Marine is hosting a South Bay Pontoons demo day at Idle Isle Park on Little Muskego Lake next Saturday, May 21st. You get a free pontoon ride, free refreshments, and you can check out all those South Bay Pontoons at Idle Isle Park on Little Muskego Lake. Again, that's next Saturday, May 21st from 10 to 3. Lakes and Rivers combos are on sale at Mills Fleet Farm. Choose a 5-foot ultralight two-piece spinning or spin cast combo for just $24.99 each. A Mountain Trails Grand Pass Family Dome Tent has room for everyone. It sleeps seven and has a 6-foot 4-inch center. It's on sale for $79.99. This Pelican Monaco Deluxe Pedal Boat is on sale too and includes a canopy for $449.99. Find more low sale prices in our weekly flyer. It's online at fleetfarm.com. Spring rains bring night crawlers, and it's the perfect time to gather a season's worth of bait for free. And keeping night crawlers is easy. Always use non-chlorinated water to mix your bedding until moist. You'll know it's the right consistency when you can squeeze just a couple drops of water out of it. If you don't have time to mix your bedding, simply grab a box of Frable's Fat and Sassy Worm Bedding right off the shelf. It's ready to use right out of the box. And if you change your bedding each month, you can keep night crawlers alive almost indefinitely. For more great products and helpful tips, Visit us at Freybill.com. Design backed by cutting edge precision. Sophistication that's world renowned. Durability that's not to be outdone. So why do we insist on such perfection? We know what's at stake. The only spinning reel so advanced, it's a Revo. Revo Premier from Abu Garcia for life. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, the opening week of fishing season up in uh, Hayward, Wisconsin. And Pete, uh, what we're going to do is just kind of fan cast a big wheat flat until we get on fish. But I notice uh, the gulp deal here you got going. That's kind of a double trouble deal, huh? Yeah, well, I got a standard uh, three inch minnow there, and that's a little crazy legs gulp deal. And isn't that nice? Don't that, you? That is nice. You know, if you were a fish, you'd bite that. Absolutely. Right? Now, you just cast out and you just kind of jerk that, or? Yeah, you jerk and pop it through yeah. you know, different, you know, see, I'll, see I'll what try, they like. I'll try a minnow and I got my crappie rod up there too, so we'll, okay. see, we'll see what's going on. All right, here we go, here we go. Tex is gonna be the first to connect. Look at what we got coming up here, folks. Let's see what we got coming. I think it's a walleye, Tex, I really do, buddy. I Seriously? Really do, Ooh, it is Ooh, a walleye. Look at that, it's a beautiful walleye. Hey, hey way to go, Tex Arena. <laughs> way to go, buddy. All right. Hey, Tex, I got to talk to you, buddy. Yes, sir. I got to come down, man. Yes. You just got back from uh, Texas and fishing yes, saltwater. What, yes, do you, what do you like better? I like where I can catch fish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, Either one. Now, that was a jig and a minnow. 
Right, yes, yes. Oh, I'll tell you what, Pete, I am so That's glad, a we, we, a I am so glad we got your dad along. <laughs> yeah. You know, he is Mr. Automatic, isn't he, Pete? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, look at the smile on there. Hey, let me see uh, you be happy here, man. I, I know you are. All right, here he comes. Wow. Where are you at? Oh, look look at that. Hey, hey. hey, Dex, back up a little bit over here, will you, man? You're hogging all the camera time. Another nice fish. Yeah. Aren't they just beautiful, too? Yeah. And you know what's so interesting to me is a lot of guys come up here to the Hayward area and, and they'll strictly just fish rocks. And we're the weeds hold a lot of fish this time of year, don't they? Well, the weeds will and so will the rocks, especially when it's this late. But uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a nice fish. Now, now, this one appears to be spawned out. And what we're doing, folks, is all using a different bait. You know what? Your dad's got his old trusty jigging minnow, you know? Yeah, and he's done pretty well over the years with the old trusty jigging minnow. Yeah, <laughs> he's kind of putting it to us here so far. Folks, as I mentioned earlier, a pretty nice warm day for uh, early May. And uh, I want to mention that if you didn't catch our show much last year, Pete is very sensitive to sun. And I gotta tell you what, that new deal you got on your head looks pretty sharp, but in all seriousness, you gotta be careful, don't you? Yeah, John, I, you know, I don't know exactly what it is, some kind of allergy, but uh, this does look cool. I mean, you gotta admit, you know, I, I kind of look like Mr. Mummy. Hey, here we go, Tex again, Pete, Tex there. Boy, uh, he's quite the angler, man. I'll tell you what, he is quite the angler. Well, give you, ooh, here he comes. Ooh. Actually, that's a walleye. It's a walleye, you guys. Ooh, <laughs> come on, Tex, it's a half hour show, man. Get that walleye in, good job there, Tex. We kind of moved out of the weeds, and, and that's, this is kind of a wooded shoreline, huh, Tex? I guess so, yeah. And Pete, that's a lot of people don't figure that, you know, fishing shorelines, wooded shorelines for walleyes, also a good option in the spring, isn't it? Well, especially when you're way behind like this, you know, any shoreline leading out of a spawning area, you know. That's, That's a nice, a nice fish. Yeah. You know, your dad is tremendous. I mean, there aren't many guys <laughs> oh, that can right, catch yeah. walleyes like that. Hey, he's schooling us here. What do you got now up there, Scarf Boy? I, I think... <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, I'll tell you what, we got bites going all the time ah, now, man. Nice that is smallmouth. neat, man. Holy that, that's cow. a nice fish. Yeah, you better. Maybe Tex will get the frable for you or. Oh, I can hand land them. I'm a big bass guy. Oh, uh, yeah, I know yeah. that. Can you get them or what? I the don't deal? think so. I. <laughs> You know, we, there. we could have been done a half hour ago with the Frable, but... Oh, that's a pretty fish. And that was just on that golf thing you showed at the top of the yeah, show, Yeah, that right? little crazy leg deal. That's a nice, nice fish. Bass. Boy, did he fight. No, but seriously, up here in the Hayward they area, are fun. you got some great smallmouth and largemouth lakes, don't you? Oh, just about all of our lakes, Sean. People don't talk about it that much because it's traditionally, you know, walleye, muskie, that kind of thing. But tremendous bass fishing we have. What's going on well, here? Well, I think I got a pretty nice fish. I don't know what it is. It's staying down. It's, it's staying, staying down. It's staying down, and it's kind of shaking its head. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> it's a big fish, folks. It's a big bass. Grab that frable, Pete. Grab that frable. I'm going to bring him right over there by you. Well, maybe not. Oh, uh, yeah, he's fighting. There oh, he comes. Oh, that's man. a nice largemouth bass, boys and girls. OK, there we go. Good job there, Tex. Nice job on the frable. When he first there. came out of the water, Pete, I thought he was bigger than that, but that's a nice fish in anybody's book right there. Yeah, and you're using just, just your old jig and minnow just deal. Just my old jig and minnow. Well, you're one of the finest anglers, you know, I've ever met. Oh, boy, all the years that, that all the years that we've fished <laughs> together, man, you just school me, you know that? <laughs> nice bass though, Tex. Yeah. You got another one on? This one was up shallow. You know, that's really interesting the, though, you know, this time of year fish are obviously <laughs> gonna look for the warmest water, right? Which yeah, generally, shallow. John, that's going to be the deal. Well, you, would ex you would expect the, you know, most of the, the bass and the, and, and the wall. I've been right on the break, though. <laughs> I got a little bass on up here that I'm going to have All to right, get. All right, we got on. doubles we and go. triples. And I got my bass. Now, you got one coming in. Look at the Pete. Got, this is fast fishing, man. Water. Yeah. What is so much fun is these fish are up towards shore, like yeah. I said, and just casting to them and getting them to yeah, hit is fun. That's a good size Texas fish. Texas is excited Texas. here. You know, we started out today hunting oh. walleyes and crappies, and now we're hunting bass. Turns into a and bass show success. here all of a sudden. Yeah. And hold that one up in front of you. No, we started, you know, hold them up for the camera there. Yeah, so the, the camera's back can here. See. There you go. <laughs> but you know, Pete, that's what's so cool about this time of the year. You start out targeting walleyes and crappies and whatever, but you really just give the lake, you know, what the lake gives you, you take, you know, and that's what's fun. Just fishing these beautiful wooded shorelines and 
And we're getting a bite just about every second, aren't we? Technically, we're targeting walleyes, but we're targeting walleyes, crappies. We're using the type of baits so we can catch anything. You, you know, obviously, once in a while, you stumble on a muskie this time of year doing the same thing. So that's what's neat about it. You never know what's next. And right now, I guess we're on bass pretty good. Well, what is it, Pete? What is nice, it, Pete? Nice walleye. Grab that frable Tex. Grab that frable Tex. You thought that was a pike, didn't you, I thought Pete? it was a pike. So it's a pretty wow, nice look walleye. at that. And that fish, folks, was sitting in four or five feet of water. That's what I find so interesting, you know, Yeah, Pete? about about six. Oh, that is a big walleye, Pete. That's a nice Look one. at the size of that walleye, Pete. Wow, <laughs> that's a big fish, dude. <laughs> yeah, that is, I, is a I would big have, fish, I would have man. swore that was a northern. What's that on? Just that same little crazy legs gulp. Look at the size of this walleye, guys. That is a nice one. That is a beautiful fish, man. Get him, Look Tex. At get that. him, Tex. Nice fish. Pass him to Pete there, Tex. <laughs> Pete, turn around and hold that up for the yep. folks at home. That, that is, is just a, nice a beautiful there. fish, buddy. Oh. Wow. Look at that, man. That is beauty, a gorgeous beauty, beauty. walleye. And you know what? One thing, and that's on the Gulf, too, isn't yep. it? Yeah. Yeah, that little. You know, one thing, though, Pete, I want to talk about, buddy, is the fact that uh, Boy, he was you're pinned, such a too. proponent, you know, for conservation here. Is that the size walleye that you released? Yeah, or what? definitely, John. This one, we got to let go. This is a spawned out female here that was never going to get away, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Beautiful Real nice fish. fish, though. And is that unusual to have all these different species mixed up together on the same shoreline? Not this time of year when you're on a shoreline like this with a little bit of weed wood and coming out of a spawning area. You know, it's pretty typical. It's a good thing to try if nothing else is working. Yeah, it was a real nice walleye. And you know, the last couple of years that we've been up here, we have caught beautiful fish, you know, beautiful walleyes. Oh yeah, yeah, real nice fish. We were fishing the lakes of Hayward, Wisconsin, a five and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, six and a half hours from Chicago, and two and a half hours from Minneapolis. How do you reach the best hunting? the best fishing, and the best views on a Yamaha Grizzly. The only ATVs with true four-wheel drive, downhill engine braking, and power steering. The Yamaha Grizzly 550 and Grizzly 700 FIEPS. And introducing the new Grizzly 450, now with electric power steering. Yamaha is one tough competitor, both on and off the field. Get yours now. Juicy Johnsonville Sausage, made with only premium cuts of pork since 1945. Johnsonville, sausage is all we do. Folks, I am really proud that Johnsonville is introducing a new innovative product right here on our show. I've got Tom from Johnsonville with me right now, and these are Johnsonville chicken sausages. And you can tell us a little bit about the flavors. We got three flavors, three cheese Italian, chicken chipotle Monterey Jack cheese, and apple sausage. And my wife is very happy about this because these are 50% less fat, right? Yes, they are, and they're great on a bun. They're also fantastic in recipes. What kind of recipes like? Put them in pasta, lasagna, they'll flavor up any dish. Well, they smell awfully good, and we've got our guide today. He's our taste mm -hmm. tester. All right, Brian, Johnsonville and chicken sausage. Excellent flavor. Isn't that great Excellent. flavor? And I'll tell you what, I have already tried the apple one. I love that. Now, I'm going to try the other one now, the Chipotle? Chipotle Monterey Jack cheese. Okay, and are these available right now at retailers? They're available right now at every retailer. Well, thanks. It was ha nice having you with us today, and I can't wait to buy a bunch of chicken sausage from Johnsonville, right? You bet. Now Texas got one on. All right. Oh, hey, look at you got a good walleye on there, buddy. You got a good walleye yeah, on, Tex. Hey, we're going to need that frable, Pete. I'm, I'm stepping uh, in. Okay. Yeah. I'm stepping in. All right. Ooh. You know, you do get all the enjoyment out of it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, hey, hey, way to go, Tex Rudy. <laughs> Good job, buddy. You know, we just moved out from the shoreline a little bit, and this particular lake is just like a bowl. So I, I guess when you move away the, from the shoreline, you just look for the break lines. But let's hold them up real high to your face there, Tex. So the, there you go. That is, that's an eater right there, Pete, right? Yeah, yeah, that's got it. Well, I, I, you know, if you watch our show over the years, you know Tex likes to take a fish home to eat. 
Yes, I do. I know you do. And that's a perfect eater right there. That's the kind I love. It, do we have a nice day or what? This is a beautiful day, John. Hey, Pete, I'll tell you what. Our buddies Bruce and Brad from Angler's Haven, one of our favorite bars and restaurants in the world. They're on Coup d'Array. They got some nice walleyes there, don't they? Absolutely. And it is He's our favorite bar. I am very proud of you guys. You know that? Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, no, good job, guys. Another bass for Mr. Uh, Mayna, you know? Bass, man. I used to think you were this big musky angler, but deep well, down inside. Well, not open, John. I got to do what I got to do for now. Deep down inside, though. Oh, yeah. You yeah. are a bass oh. man. I'm a bassin' man. Can't help it. Ha, <laughs> ha, There we go. Johnny. Hey, look at that. You know, that's one thing that I, I want to mention, folks. I come up here every spring with Pete, and I always say, hey, can we try for the crappies? There are some good crappie lakes up here. And what's really funny, Pete, I had been using the little crappie jig all afternoon and was catching midgets. Now I go out with the walleye jig in the middle and catch a nice one. All right, that, that is that's a, nice a good one. eater right there, folks. You get a mess of those, Tex will be happy. Ooh, the there sheik. Nice, go. nice the sheik <laughs> back there by the sheik. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one. nice bass, John. It's like bass number 47. Yeah, at least. And you know, really, there isn't a heck of a lot of stuff to hold these fish. There. Like you said before, there yeah, must be nice. brush or wood down there because there's a ton of fish right in this corner of the lake, man. Yeah. A lot of wood, a little bit of weed coming up. That's a pretty That's bass. Done. Yeah, you bet. Built well. I mean, folks, literally, we're catching. Oh, this is a nice bass. That's oh, a yeah. nice, nice bass. Yeah. But we have caught a lot of fish today, folks, and a lot of fish that we didn't film, too. And Pete, uh, when Tex brings this up here, buddy, I want to mention that uh, there is a reason, folks, that we are all wearing tuxedos today. And uh, I am very proud to mention that this is our 1,000th consecutive show, Pete. And uh, it was 20 years ago this summer that I met you and we started fishing together. And it's been a lot of fun over the years, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, John. And, I, you know, this, this clothing is just awesome. That's, that's all I got to say. I appreciate you doing that for it. But on a, a real serious note, I mean, it's, it, it's been a lot of fun over the last 20 years. And frankly, it's pretty amazing what you've been able to do and get a thousand shows. I mean, <laughs> I don't think that's been done in fishing before. And it's important, folks, to mention that I am not an expert fisherman. It's thanks to all the guys that we fish with every week that make the show possible. Guys like Big Dave Ehard and Rob Manthai, uh, Dale Strohshine, Larry Smith, Jim Hudson, just to name a few. And, and Pete, you know, showing a few of the pictures over the years, you've really put me on some big muskies. We've had some real excitement, haven't we? Oh, yeah, we have, John. Some great musky fishing over the years, and I'm looking forward to starting that up here again in another month. Well, I have good news for you now. We can go in and take these tuxes off and enjoy your favorite beverage and a Johnsonville. Wow, now that sounds like a good deal. I know Tex is really going to be sad. Well, he's he has take his tux off. over the years, you know. <laughs> yeah, he is, he is really styling. He wears this better than either one of us, I hate to say. Hey folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Mills Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2011 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Jason Schrader of Madison. He caught this 45-inch tiger muskie in Vilas County on a tip-up. Casey Langenberg of De Pere moved into the winner's circle with this 42-inch northern caught on the Bay of Green Bay on a golden shiner. Paul Korn of Greenfield, Wisconsin landed this 16-inch crappie on Fox Lake on a jig. Pete Miller of Random Lake, Wisconsin caught this 31-inch walleye on the Fox River on a Smith Wake. And this week's kids winners are Cooper and Hallie Lindsay of Becker, Minnesota. They caught this 29-inch walleye on Mille Lacs on a jig. And Tyler Brackle of Sheboygan, Wisconsin caught this 48-inch muskie on the Fox River on a Rapala. Our adult winners will receive a $25 Mills Fleet Farm gift card. Our kids winners a Plano Tackle Box. Dinner is simple. Just stop in at your favorite Mills Fleet Farm store to pick up an entry blank. Or this year, you can go to fleetfarm.com and download an entry blank. Mills Fleet Farm supports catch and release and keeping our water safe and clean. Mills Fleet Farm, your fishing gear headquarters. Folks, if you or your business would be interested in a sponsorship of John Gillespie's Waters and Woods, or if you would like to introduce a new product on the show, please email us at gillespiefishing.com. That's gillespiefishing.com. This is the year. The year you come home with a stringer full of memories. This is the year you gain 10 pounds. The year you find a new favorite color. This is the year you reach your limit 
and let go. The year that one more last cast finally pays off. This is the year you stop fretting and start fishing. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here with three easy ways to shop. Join Menards this week in saluting our American-made products with Menards Made in the USA sale. Update your roof with Owens Corning. Made in Houston, Texas, weather guard shingles have superior resistance to wind and hail and a lifetime warranty. Only $27.97 per bundle. Aluminum soften and fascia from Cell Even is made in Appleton, Wisconsin. It's low maintenance and helps ventilate your home. Available in 15 colors. All Cell Even soften and fascia is 10% off. Save big money at Menards. This segment is brought to you by Yamaha. Get $200 off on your next Yamaha purchase by picking up a coupon at GillespieFishing.com. Folks, day two of our 1,000th show, and uh, kind of interesting, today is May the 11th. It's going to be 80 degrees today. That's right. And you got a lot of gnats in your beard there. You know, we were coming yeah, across the lake, and you got a lot of bugs in your beard, man. <laughs> hey, special deal. My wife, Trish, wanted to give you a special Father's Day gift, oh. okay? Even though it's a little early, so go ahead, open it up. Oh, wow. Do that. Show the folks at home. Is that gorgeous hey, or what? Hey, hey. A Slavoware Slavoware. sweatshirt. Are you thrilled? I am ecstatic. <laughs> okay, well, I am very happy too. And by the way, you know, visit the store at GillespieFishing.com because we got a lot of good Father's Day gifts there. You I know that? that? That's for you. Thank you. Well, yeah, it, look, it looks like Mr. Walleye is going to start our day today just like he left off yesterday. I mean, a great two days of fishing, oh, yeah, you know? Yeah. Look yeah, at it's that. Been fun. And, look, you hey, and smile, Tex. You always do when you catch a walleye. <laughs> but, you know, we have the perfect conditions today for jigging, folks, and just enough wind to keep us moving a little bit, Pete. Yeah. And, uh, and you're able to see your jig so easily, too, you know? Hey, Pete, I just got bit off, and seconds later, Tex has this on. Yeah. You know, there there can be muskies and stuff swimming around here, too. Oh, well, you never walleyes. know what this could be yeah. in here. This time of year, John, it's you just never know. It could be a pike. Could well, be you a look bass, at that quantum rod. Be it's been pretty good yeah. right there. Call that is really, look at that. <laughs> and that's nice having that extended handle on yeah. that frable, too, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, Tex, I got to have you with me more often this summer because uh, you have tremendous walleye catching abilities. You know that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean I, I'm impressed, man. You're he my hero. He has been hogging the show. There's no doubt about that. That's a nice one. That right there is a beautiful walleye. Yes, and you know yes. what, Tex? Uh, uh, one in interesting thing that you're doing jigging, you're not that letting that jig go to the bottom. You're just kind of twitching it in yeah, the middle. That's right. Uh, trying to keep as close to the weeds as I can without getting hooked in them. So you're just kind of, if we're in the eight, nine feet of water, you're about four feet, five feet I under the say, surface. Yeah. And I've been watching your technique because <laughs> you're the only one catching the big old walleyes, you know? Nice fish. Aren't you getting sick of your dad catching fish? I mean, watching him every second he's got one on. Do I got to get the net again? I know. Oh, it's a nice walleye. It really is. There, finally. Yay. Whoa. That is a look at the average size of these walleyes, yeah, folks. That's a nice fish. It's blowing sir. me away. That's a nice fish there. Pete, I mean, the average size of these fish is incredible. You yeah, know, they're almost too beautiful. big to keep, you know? Beautiful. Yeah, this one here is borderline. I, I hate to say it, but Tex, maybe you ought to let that one go. Oh, Pete, look at that. Look yeah, at that. that is and, a and, nice one. And these Hayward area walleyes, man, are just so beautiful and so gold and so pretty colored. And uh, Tex, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to put my rod down and watch you the rest of the day because I am impressed. You are putting on a clinic of clinics. Clinic of clinics. God, I love it. Hey, Pete, you can catch walleyes, too? I, 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 apparently so. Oh. I didn't know. I, I thought this was only Dad that got Ooh, to do this. look at this guy. The average size ah. blows me away, folks, and, and that's on the gulp, too, huh, Pete? Yeah, that's that crazy leg gulp deal. Good. Look at, I mean, All right. folks, you that know. That is a nice one. Yeah. Anybody who says that the, the northern part of the state doesn't have big walleyes anymore is crazy. I mean, the average size fish we're catching is good anywhere you go. I don't care if it's the Bay of Green Bay or oh, Lake Erie yeah. or whatever. Yeah. These are nice fish. That's a, that's a male there. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, big and male. well built fish too, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. But I mean, you know, I, I'm really amazed. Every spring I come up here with you, Pete, and and what we catch. Ah. I mean, there's some lakes where you get the smaller walleyes, but 
there are lakes with like we're on today that have gorgeous fish. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Well, we got a little storm. You can hear the little thunder in the background there, Pete. It hasn't stopped the fish from biting, though. No, it hasn't, John. I got something going on here, buddy. You've been finding these fish up shallow, too, haven't you? Yeah, and this fish, John, was in five, six feet. We got an eater it's size. An eater. Hey, it's look an at eater. that, an eater size for Tex. <laughs> wow. Hey, good job, guys. But no, seriously, oh, Pete, guys, uh, you know, I've learned that over the years fishing with you guys, oh, that, that uh, nice you that find those nice. shallow green weeds three, four, five feet, they'll hold walleyes early in the year. Oh, you bet. You oh, bet. Isn't yeah. that a pretty fish? That is a nice one. That's a good nice job, man. And he hit that pretty hard, that gulp? Yeah, he whacked it, actually. I, I thought I was stuck on weeds. And I set the hook and got the shaking right away, so. Well, as I'm retying here, Pete, I understand that you're going to be involved in this big muskie festival coming up in June in Hayward. You and Shram both, huh? Yeah, John, it's the 62nd annual. It's, this muskie festival is kind of neat. They have a fishing contest. It's kind of a three-day event. And Shram will be performing on Saturday the 25th, I believe it is. 25th of June. At 4 o'clock. Up here in Hayward. Yes. And we're going to be in the parade on Sunday. Oh, cool. Isn't that exciting? Well, maybe you sure I'll, you want to come? Uh, I'll try. Well, I guess uh, this is the end of the clinic, <laughs> you know? Well, <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll watch him catch one more, but I'll tell you what, for, <laughs> hey, just keep laughing. For our thousand show, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it, the two days? It really was. We caught a lot of fish. We did. Yeah. You guys caught a lot of fish, you bet. <laughs> right, Tex? I had a blast. Oh, here, let me get your bass out before the show ends here, all right? Okay. I'll, I'll just grab your line here and pretend like I caught something. <laughs> there we go. Hey, good time, though, buddy. You, you had some great walleye fishing, I didn't you? I certainly did. And you look good in your tux, too. I, I believe I did. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, I had a good time, buddy. We'll see you later in the summer, all right? Sounds good. Goodbye, Pete. <laughs> Goodbye, John. And, folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish it, but we'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying Wisconsin's waters and woods. Yeah!